Subbies and friends, this is Lady T and I'm coming in today because I was wondering what do most people reference when they're trying to make sh take care of their hair? And what I mean is, do you have any type of books, blogs, articles that you use or you refer to every time you have a problem with your hair or if you have a lot of information being thrown in your face and you don't know how to make sense of it like when you try to moisturize your hair and trying to clean your hair what where do you get your information now one of my secret weapons is books when I first started my natural hair journey, I saw other naturals reading books and I immediately went and bought those books. When I got the books, I read them. Now, I still reference these books to this day because you know how you can read something once and you just read it and take it in, but you might not retain everything. So a lot of times I would have to go back to a book and say, hmm, I wonder what they said about that. Or I wonder what they said about this. And I still do that to this day. And that's what keeps me grounded and lets me know what information to keep and what information to leave behind. Okay, so let me just give you guys my three favorite uh, black hair books, okay? Now there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of different books that have been created just in the last year, but I still like to stick to my old ones. And I may buy, I plan to buy more books. Number one favorite, of course, is the uh, Kathy House book. Uh, I gotta buy another one because unfortunately this book got a little jacked up. It was in my car and I think I left the window down. I got a little wet. Yeah, but this is the Kathy House's hair, what is it? Ultra Black Hair Grow, six, another six inches longer to one year from now. So this is one book, so the Kathy House book. This is the Chikoro, I think her name is, Grow It book. I love these two books because they're so regimen based. Like a lot of times you hear people say things on YouTube and why they might section their hair. A lot of that's in her book about pH balance. You know, she talks a lot about that. Well, not a lot, but enough where you know how to handle your hair. But she's about, these two books are very much about hair regimen. How to grow your hair longer, okay? If you want longer hair, they give you some basic tips about heating, you know, how to style your hair, heating tubes, how to use heat, how to wash your hair, how frequently you should wash your hair, just right to the point information. And a lot of times I'll see people on YouTube doing a lot of the stuff that's already in these books. Then later came this book, I think last year or maybe even two years ago with Science Black Hair. And this is a phenomenal book. And the thing I like about this book is that she covers, I mean, everything. I don't have the hard copy. I want to eventually buy the hard copy of this too. All these books I'm going to have to rebuy because like I said, when you go through them a lot, they get raggedy. But this book, I just love. I haven't finished reading her book. But the thing I like about this book is because she goes in depth about science. A lot of times I, these, that was what was kind of lacking in these books is the more in depth about science. So I had to actually buy books about chemistry or science. Before I had this book, I had this book that I would use and try to read a little bit about science. This is called Hair Structure and Chemistry by John Halil. So he basically was talking about the science of hair, you know, a lot of stuff about the cuticle and you know how heat works on the hair. Just a lot of the more scientific stuff, how hair products work on the hair. But if you want to go even deeper on how hair products work on the hair, I highly recommend this book by Paula Begone. Don't go shopping for hair products without me. This girl, you see how thick this book is? This is a book where she is, the first couple chapters, it's just her going through everything. She talks about African-American hair, which she gave, she gives to me to great advice on African-American hair. It doesn't always have to be an African-American author. She's the, known as uh, Oprah's Cosmetic Cop because she goes in, looks at the ingredients and, and compares them to the label of the hair product or cosmetic product. And she says if the hair is, if it's going to do what it tells you it's going to do. And a lot of times they don't or a lot of times the claims are exaggerated. And when I read this book, everything just came together because when you look at hair products and the labels of them, you just would think that the hair product could, could perform a miracle, okay? And a lot of times it's not anything better than some $3 hair product and you're paying 25. So it's just a lot of stuff she talks about like the pricing and how expensive doesn't mean better. She talks about how natural ingredients are not always necessarily better for the hair than something like a silicone. She just really, Took, this book just made it all come together because at first I was like this is confusing but the more you read them and you reference them and you start seeing more and more people saying the same thing you start to believe that it's true and I know with the internet today there's so much information and a lot of it is good information but a lot of it is not you know what I mean 
But there is, there's so much information that, it, and it's a lot of different information. I mean, people have every kind of re recipe and remedy and solutions to your problem. But what I would recommend when you first become natural, or even as you're embarking on your natural hair journey or trying to take and trying to take care of your hair, go grab one or two or even three of these books so many books about black hair care and it's amazing i highly recommend these two books for regimen this book is great for science if you want to go deeper she talks about regimen science children's regimens i mean she, she, this book is thick for a reason she covers everything i would say if you only want to buy one book buy this one okay so my thing is if you want depending on what your journey is you need to have a person you follow that is has what you want. Like if you want to have booty length, long hair, there's several people on YouTube who have that and they share their regimens. But I highly recommend that you have at least the basics of science down. I don't care if you have to write it down on a notebook, know how the hair cuticle works, know how temperature works on the hair, know how water works on the hair, know how heat works on the hair. Those are basic things you should know. You should know kind of like your hair, if it's like a certain porosity, that's important because how you apply hair products will make a, you know, it'll mean something. How often you have to wash your hair. A lot of this stuff you, you will learn through trial and error, but it's, you some a lot of this stuff you will learn through trial and error, but it's also very great to have these principles in your head, like how what the hair strand loses moisture or how the hair handles protein. Those are basic things you should look to a book I would say then when you hear everybody else's opinion you will know you know what's fact and what's just somebody's idea so um, I'm gonna as I do videos I plan to talk about some of the stuff I learned from these books because I think there's so much great information and I personally like to reference information because it gives credit to the author of it and then it helps you understand how, if you want to go check on the information and buy the book you know where it's at so I do plan to talk more about these books but I just wanted to know what kind of books are you guys reading what are some good books that you guys like did you have you read any good books lately about hair care or do you typically just stick to the blogs to do that work for you seeing what everyone else is doing or are you like most people who get very confused when they see a lot of different information and so many different techniques for pros to get protein in your hair and clean your hair and how to you know it's just a lot of information out there so I just wanted to check in and let you guys know what I read and what I reference every now and again when it starts to get a little confusing out here with the hair care market, with the hair care stuff. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.